Korean entertainment has witnessed a surge in popularity with its captivating blend of supernatural elements and enthralling storytelling. From shape-shifting goblins with killer fashion sense to mischievous ghosts, these k dramas are a supernatural roller coaster one wouldn't want to get off. In this video, we will be counting down 16 best supernatural and fantasy Korean dramas of all time. So without further ado, let's start with this year's drama, Island. Released in two parts, the drama premiered on Prime Video, with part one hitting screens in December of last year and part two following in February of this year. Drawing inspiration from a popular webtoon, the series is set on the picturesque Jeju Island, where a trio of individuals find themselves at the forefront of a battle against evil forces wanting to destroy the world. Kim Nam-gil takes on the role of Van, a protagonist who has been raised since childhood to protect the world from evil. Lee Dahi portrays Won Miho, a woman from a powerful family who is sent to Jeju Island because of her arrogant and selfish attitude, unknowingly stepping into a realm where evil freely roams. Adding to the dynamic cast is Cha An Wu as priest Johan, a Catholic priest who frequently performs exorcisms to safeguard lies and purify evil. Together, these characters navigate a collective struggle against the forces of darkness delivering an exciting narrative filled with unexpected twists and turns. Island offers viewers a journey into the supernatural, blending elements of mystery, action and drama into a truly gripping series. Number 15, The Bride of Water God. One of the captivating supernatural K-dramas available on Netflix is this drama. Blending romance with otherworldly elements, the show revolves around her beck, the god of water, brilliantly portrayed by Nam Joo Hyuk. Seeking his rightful place on the throne, Habek embarks on a journey to present-day Seoul to retrieve three powerful stones necessary to achieve his goal. Adding a touch of romance, the plot introduces Yoon so a a neuropsychiatrist portrayed by Shin Se-kyung, who is destined to be Habek's bride. As their relationship unfolds, Habek not only grapples with his own reservations about love, but also faces the challenge of protecting Soa from other gods who seek to complicate his plans. The Bride of Water God offers viewers a captivating mix of supernatural intrigue and heartfelt romance, making it a must-watch for fans of the genre. Number 14. Bulgasol – Immortal Souls Another show in contention for being the best supernatural K-drama on Netflix, Bulgasol – Immortal Souls is a dark fantasy series about revenge. The series follows the journey of Lee jin Wook's character, Dan Hall, a man who cannot kill nor be killed. He has been alive for the past 600 years as a Bulgasol, which is a creature that needs to drink human blood to survive and is cursed with immortality. Hall forms a complex relationship with Min sang Woon, portrayed by Kwon Nora, a woman who remember her past lives through death and reincarnation. She used to be immortal like Hall, however, a tragic event changes her into a human, adding a layer of emotional depth to their connection. As all Gossel Immortal Souls unravels the respective past lives and present journeys of both characters, the show masterfully combines thriller and fantasy elements across a truly epic history-inspired drama. Number 13 on the list is A Korean Odyssey. Written by the Hong sisters, the drama is a modern spin-off of the Chinese classic 16th-century novel, journey to the West. The story is set in modern times and follows the adventures of Sun O Gong, a mischievous monkey king who is banished to the human world because of his naughty behavior. He wants to regain his former position and discovers Jin Seon Mi, a special woman who can see spirits. However, a curse complicates their relationship and they find themselves working together to fight against evil spirits. Along the way, they face danger, experience the threat of death, and discover love blooming between them. The show combines humor, romance, and supernatural elements as they navigate their relationship and battle otherworldly forces. Number 12, After All Chronicles. Regarded as the first Korean ancient fantasy drama, the story takes place during the Bronze Age and is loosely based on the story of Dangan, the founder of the first Korean kingdom of Joseon. The plot revolves around a man born with the destiny of bringing disaster to the Arthdal lands. His mother is determined to keep it from happening, which causes many misunderstandings between them. They eventually relocate to the new land, however, another issue emerges. He is an outcast because he is different from the indigenous people of this land. 
Also, Arthur Chronicles is returning for the second season in the second half of this year, introducing new cast members, with Lee Jun Gai and Shin Sekyung replacing Song Jong Ki and Kim Ji Won in the lead roles. This series will impress you with its excellent settings, costumes, and cinematography. Number 11. Unlock My Boss. One of the latest popular supernatural K-dramas on Netflix is also one of the strangest. Unlock My Boss has a simple story. The soul of a CEO of a tech company gets stuck inside a cell phone. It may sound weird, but the performance of Park Sun Wong as the boss Kim Seam Ju is really good. Surprisingly, Unlock My Boss has a clear plot despite its supernatural and wacky concept. In the show, Kim Seon Ju's phone is found by an unemployed job seeker named Park In Seong, played by Che Jong Yeop. Together, they go on various adventures as Park carries out tasks for Kim in the hopes of receiving a share of the deceased entrepreneur's fortune, which is worth 10 billion won. Their adventures result in funny and unexpected outcomes. Number 10. Sweet Home Sweet Home is a unique addition to the genre, bringing more than just zombies to life. Based on a popular webtoon, the show visually improves upon its source material. It takes you on a thrilling journey where characters face struggles like depression, fear, frustration, and above all, the desire to survive. The story is set in a post-apocalyptic world filled with monsters, and the remaining survivors make a final attempt to escape the terrifying environment. Song King portrays Cha Hyun Su, the main character who has lost his family in a car accident and is barely holding on. While the story may not be exactly the same as the webtoon, the screenplay and visual effects ensure a seamless experience. Exciting news is that Netflix has announced the return of Sweet Home for its second and third seasons, set to release in late 2023. Number 9. Tale of the Nine Tailed The popular Korean series, Tale of the Nine Tailed enchanted fans with its first and second seasons. The show turned a legendary myth into a modern-day story and starred Lee Dong-wook, Jo bo Arp in the first season, and Kim so Yeon in the second season, alongside Kim Bum. In the first season, Lee Yeon as Gu Miho, and Nam ji Ah as a TV producer, discovered their connection and faced supernatural threats while protecting their love from an evil earth dragon and Lee Rang, who is Yeon's resentful half-brother. The second season titled, Tale of the Nine-Tailed 1938, took Lee Yeon back in time to 1938 during the Japanese occupation of Korea, where he encountered Lee Rang and Ryu Hongju of that era. The Tale of the Nine-Tailed is a compelling supernatural drama series that captivates viewers with its engaging storyline, intriguing mythology, and well-developed characters. Number 8. Alchemy of Souls it is a captivating fantasy series written by the talented Hong sisters. The story revolves around the concept of Hon Hong Sul, where the souls of the dead return to the living and cause people to become twisted. Divided into two parts, the first part aired in June 2022, consisting of 20 episodes, while the second part titled Alchemy of Souls Light and Shadow aired from December 2022 to January of the following year, comprising total of 10 episodes. In part one, set in the fictional country of Daho, young mages navigate love and growth while dealing with the forbidden alchemy of souls spell. Part two follows Jang Yuk, who returns from the dead and becomes a ruthless hunter of soul shifters. He meets Jin Bu Yun, who resembles his lost love, leading to new mysteries and revelations. This series offers an intriguing storyline filled with love, loss, and supernatural elements. Number seven, Legend of the Blue Sea. Coming in at number 7 on our list of supernatural Korean dramas is the captivating series called Legend of the Blue Sea. This amazing show tells a fascinating story where love goes beyond time itself. Jun Jae Hyun and Lee Min Ho give incredible performances as they bring to life the relationship between a human and a mermaid. As the story unfolds, we get swept away in a tale of destiny and magic, where the past and present come together. With its perfect mix of fantasy, romance, and mystery, Legend of the Blue Sea will keep you hooked, eagerly diving into this supernatural adventure. Number 6. Hellbound. Written by Choi Kyusok and directed by Yeon Sangho, who is well known for the popular zombie movie Train to Busan, 
The series begins with a strange supernatural event where creatures suddenly appear on Earth and have the power to send people to hell. The main characters, played by Yu Alin and Kim Hyunju, are at the center of the story. Hellbound gained attention from both critics and fans due to its unique storyline and the way it explores the terrifying premise. Similar to Train to Busan, the series effectively captures the fear and also delves into the social and political implications of the situation. It is an engaging and captivating dark fantasy with elements of horror, thriller, action, and crime mystery. If you enjoy supernatural stories, Hellbound is definitely worth watching. Number 5. The King, Eternal Monarch This romantic fantasy series from 2020 stars Lee Minho and Kim go Un as the main leads. It takes place in two different worlds and follows Emperor Lee Gon from the Kingdom of Korea as he discovers a portal to an alternate reality where the Republic of Korea exists. He meets Detective Jung Ta Yul, who he recognizes from a crucial moment in his life. The series became very popular on Netflix due to its talented cast, well-known screenwriter, extensive advertising, and high production budget. Number 4. Hotel Del Luna This horror fantasy K-drama is set in an ancient hotel located in downtown Seoul. Bayou plays the female lead who manages a hotel for the deceased. She can only leave this duty if she finds someone whose mistake was worse than hers. Hotel Del Luna is not your typical cliché-filled series and introduces the less popular genre of horror. It may not appeal to everyone, but if you're looking for something visually stunning with unexpected twists and famous actors, this masterpiece is a must-watch. Number 3. My Love from the Stars This fantasy melodrama explores the relationship between a human and a centuries-old alien with supernatural abilities. Kim Soo-hyun plays the male lead, an alien trapped on Earth disguised as a university professor, while Jun Jae Hyun portrays the female lead, a popular actress. The drama gained popularity not only in Korea, but also internationally. If you're interested in time travel, teleportation, or simply a captivating melodrama with a talented cast, My Love from the Stars is a great choice. Number 2. W2 Worlds Starring Lee Jong-suk and Han Hyo-ju, this series delves into the clash between the real world and an alternate universe within a webtoon. The story revolves around Kang Chul played by Lee Jong-suk, a handsome and intelligent young man. After a suspicious phone call and a rooftop encounter with a mysterious killer, Kang Chul's life takes a turn for the strange. Oh Yun-ju played by Han Hyo-ju, the daughter of the webtoon's illustrator, gets pulled into the webtoon world where she meets Kang Chul. The plot revolves around whether they can find a happy ending. Number 1. Goblin Also known as Guardian, the Lonely and Great God, Goblin is a top supernatural Korean drama that combines mystery and fantasy. Gong Yu plays a modern-day goblin who seeks to end his immortal life and needs the help of a human bride, played by Kim go Han. Their lives become intertwined with Lee Dong-wook's character, a grim reaper who has lost his memories. As the story unfolds, the connection between Kim Shin as the goblin and Jai Yun Tak as the human bride becomes deeper and more meaningful. With breathtaking cinematography, outstanding soundtracks, and a talented cast, Goblin is a beautiful and emotionally captivating story that will make you experience both laughter and tears.